Hello and welcome to this 12 minute full body stretch. At the beginning, we're gonna start with some scapular retractions. So we're gonna step on all fours and we're gonna do 30 seconds of going all the way down, trying to get our scapulas together and then all the way up, trying to bring them apart. This is gonna open up our shoulders and get them warm for the next exercises. Once we do 30 seconds, we're going to do the same exercise, but only with one hand, just to get the focus on one of our shoulders. So keep going. And once you reach the 30 seconds, you're going to get the hand up, maybe grab your thigh, and then you're going to do the same retractions with one arm. So you're going to get your scapula all the way to the middle when you retract and then all the way up when you contract. This is how it looks from the other side. We're gonna do 30 seconds with both hands, 15 seconds with one hand, and then 15 seconds with the other hand. Once you're done, you want to grab your right arm and then you wanna push it all the way forward, stretch it all the way forward. And then as you open your hand, you're gonna do a turn and bring it all the way to the back of your spine. You're gonna fold the elbow at the end of the movement. So you're gonna put your hand in front of you and then while tensing your scapula and your delts, you're gonna bring it all the way back. We're gonna do three full rotations on each arm. Try to keep your core engaged. Do not move your hips as much or at all if you can. Try to stay with a neutral back. Once you're done with those, we're gonna bring our hands a little bit forward and then we're gonna bring our chest all the way to the ground. This is a great shoulder opener that also works on our lats. You're gonna breathe and then when you exhale you're gonna try to go a little bit deeper if you're feeling like you can go as deep as your face touching the ground maybe you can put your your hands a little bit forward and then keep going deeper so with every with every breath you will go a little bit high and with every exhale you're gonna try to lower your back your chest all the way to the ground we're gonna do this for about a minute. Okay, good. Now we have our shoulders and our chest open. We're gonna step back to a child, almost a child pose. And we're gonna do these swings where we go from a crawl to a plank position. At the beginning, I'm gonna start with my knees bent but as i keep doing the exercise i'm gonna transition into a plank a full plank with my knees straight up if you cannot do a plank as forward as i am doing right now in the video or you're having trouble you can also keep your knees on the ground and do the same movements of going back and forth it is still going to be a great shoulder exercise right now I'm doing a shoulder and core exercise so it's better bang for your buck if you lift your knees and go all the way from crawling to plank position once you're done with a minute of those you're gonna step your knees a little bit wider than almost as wide as your mat and you're gonna try to bring your butt all the way to your heels and then relax with your hands forward, opening your chest. If you are not feeling comfortable in this position, you can also look for a cushion and put the cushion on your heels so it is a little bit less intense. Try to ground your butt to the ground so it is not only focusing on your chest and opening your chest you should also try to 
bring your butt all the way to the ground. So it's two points of focus. You have the end of your spine and the beginning of your spine that you should try to bring all the way to the floor. So once you do a minute of that exercise, we're gonna step our foot is gonna our right foot is gonna replace our right hand and we are gonna swing from a, a front hip opener to a hamstring and the calf opener. So we're gonna start start here in our first position we're gonna lift and open our front of your hip and then we're gonna step back with the heel as a hinge or as a, as a base. We're gonna do about a minute of these changings. Once you are more flexible while you're doing this exercise, like the fourth, fifth repetition, when you step back, try to keep your chest or your stomach as close to your thigh as you can. So you can see here, I step up, pushing the hip forward, and then with my chest touching my thigh, I try to go back as much as I can. Then, of course, it's gonna let go and be separated. This is a great hip opener. It's gonna work on lengthening our front hip and the back of our thighs. Now we're gonna do some, some movements to loosen our, our spine. And then we're gonna replace the left hand with the left foot and we're gonna do the same exercise. We push forward with our hip and then we step back to stretch the back of that left leg. So we stretch the front right hip and then we step back to stretch the back of the left leg. Repeat this for a minute. Remember to breathe into your stretches. This is gonna help your body know that you are safe on those stretches. It's gonna reduce the stretch reflex and it's gonna let you get deeper and deeper into your stretching routine. So this is gonna be our last repetition. And once you're done, you can step to all fours and make your way down to sitting. Once we're sitting, we're gonna do some 90-90 rotations. So you wanna put your feet on the ground, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And you're gonna bring one knee to the ground, well, both knees to the ground, but one knee is gonna do internal rotation, the other knee is gonna do external rotation. You can let your hips move and your shoulders move so you, both of your knees are touching the ground. If they do not touch, don't stress it too much. But if you move your hip and your chest, you should be able to get those knees all the way to the ground especially after we have been opening those hips with the last exercises. We're also gonna do a minute of this exercise. Go as fast or as slow as you wish. There is no correct speed on your stretches. Once you're finished with your minute, we're gonna do our last exercise. So we're gonna put the palms of, the, of our feet, our soles together, and then we're gonna breathe, step with, breathe, and then we're gonna grab one foot with our hand, pushing with the elbow, and with the other hand, we're gonna push the knee all the way down, trying to put both our knees on the ground. So I'm grabbing here with my left hand, pushing with my left elbow and now I'm gonna do the other side so I'm grabbing with my right hand pushing with my right elbow on my right shin and then with my left hand pushing the knees all the way down we're gonna do 30 seconds per side here
remember to breathe. Once we are done, we're gonna try to bring our chest all the way to our soles. So here, we are gonna try to, at first, maintain a flat back. So here I have a mirror or a window right on my left side. So I try to check if I'm keeping my flat back. You breathe when you stretch all the way up and you try to be in upright position. And then when you exhale, you go all the way down. Here you can see a repetition where I do it all the way down. Once you, I like to walk with my elbows and once you get all the way down with the stretch back, all the way you can go, you're gonna bend your back, let it curve, and then try to bring your head to the ground or to your feet. We're gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds. This is gonna be our last position. Remember to breathe, feel how your lower back and your hips are opening in this beautiful, delicious stretch. All right, so we're done. We did our 10 to 12 minutes of our stretches. Now I'm just gonna sit here and meditate a little bit. You can go ahead and end the video right now or maybe do another round of this 12 minute full body stretch. Thank you for being here. You can follow Mauricio Move for more strength and mobility exercises.